Hi. Today we're going to show you how Informatica provides real-time SAP to Salesforce integration. We'll show three examples today. We'll synchronize customers and contacts using iDocs in real time. We'll integrate products and sales order information using BAPIs. And we'll also show a mashup, bringing SAP data to a Salesforce mashup in real time so our customers and our sales reps can have information at their fingertips immediately. Today we'll start off in Salesforce. And you'll notice I have no accounts loaded. We'll use Informatica's SAP to Salesforce templates to do that. Let's jump into our SAP environment and look at a customer and then send in the customer across. So here you can see we're in the SAP environment. We're looking at customer 2004 called Sudatech GMB, GMBH. Next, we'll send it across using the send customer transaction in, in SAP. We'll toggle back to Salesforce and we'll refresh our screen. And we can see that our customer instantaneously has been transferred from SAP to Salesforce. As we drill into our customer, we'll see that we're carrying all the necessary SAP key information. You can see our customer 2004, Sudatech GmbH. We can see his information has been mapped. And then below that, we actually see our SAP key information, the organization, the division, distribution channel that will allow us to modify information in, SA, in Salesforce and easily bring that back and match it back into SAP. Let's go to our scenario two where we want to actually create opportunities and sales orders and then send them over to SAP. So using the power of Salesforce, I can easily hover over and create a new opportunity. So we'll, we'll call this our SAP Office Products. Opportunity. And we'll say it's an existing customer and we'll say it's a phone inquiry. We'll pick some default information and when this is in, in negotiation review phase, we'll save that. Next, we want to attach products to that. Let's edit the products or add products. This, this information, the product information below, was actually moved over using Informatica's. Uh, templates also. So we'll select our products and we'll give it a quantity. We'll pick two and two or 20 in this case. And we'll pick delivery date for the end of the month and we'll save that. Now we've won the deal. Let's go modify our opportunity or order and we'll change this from closed negotiation to closed one. And then we'll also sync this with SAP. As soon as I save that transaction, an Informatica process has been kicked off in the background that's going to look for any closed one orders that have SAP synchronization as part of the record. Let's go take a look at Informatica Cloud. So you'll actually notice that there's an integration tab within Salesforce. Watch how easy it is to, in, to link into Informatica Cloud. It's a single sign-on. We'll toggle over to the new tab that was opened, and we can actually see now the interface of Informatica Cloud. Very easy to navigate, tab-driven like Salesforce, and let's take a look at what's actually running in real time right now by looking at our activity monitor. And we can see here our SAP create account is running and it's accepted 14 rows over the time it's run, and our create sales order is actually running right now and processing that information from Salesforce to SAP. While that's running, let's go send another customer over and we'll see that tally jump up. So obviously this will happen in real time during the day as folks work on their, on their business. We'll refresh our screen and we can see our rows went up to 16, our sales orders were processed. Let's take a look at our log. We can see that we processed a number of sales orders and products. We toggle back to Salesforce, we'll go to our opportunity. Let's take a look at the detail. 
And you'll notice that we have our SAP sales order. So let's go prove that and let's go find that in SAP. We'll copy that information and we'll go to the display sales order transaction in SAP. Let's go search for it. And here's that information. Here's our SAP product opportunity, which is now a PO or sales order in Salesforce on SAP. And our products have been added. And we ordered two and 20 of the two different products. Now, let's go look at our sales rep. He may be in the field and let's watch him see a mashup within his account screen to see all his, his current orders. So we'll toggle back to Salesforce. Let's go look at our account. Again, navigating nicely through our Salesforce interface. Going to our screen fully paints. And as I scroll down again, you can see our map, our Salesforce SAP key information, and then here's our mashup. Here's the information that we automatically created using Informatica's Cloud's SA, Salesforce to SAP uh, product synchronization, product and order synchronization. Here are our 20 units we ordered and our two units. So all in all, in about five minutes, we've showed integration between customers and contacts, bidirectional synchronization back into SAP, creating sales orders and linking products, syncing back into Salesforce with the order number, and then seeing that same information in a mashup. Thank you for your time today, and please visit www.informaticacloud.com for more information.